Welcome to Pack Valhim and another pack collection video. It is time to walk to memory lane. I will explain the jokes and shenanigans of the Rob Alpha 5 season 2, which is here. It's been a lot of fun to look like an idiot. The basic of Rob Alpha I watch an episode of Trolls series by DJR to make a prediction. The Battlefish Wong prediction, A to B, Bill's Jelly Bean, no joke or shenanigans, anything that I find to really make the series priceless. Check out Battlefield Alpha 5 season 2, filled with more jokes and shenanigans. It could be a little joke that I made, clever editing that I did, something to find in the background, or something like completely irrelevant to basic of the Rob Alpha 5. The remaining such types of jokes and shenanigans, DJR, the videos in the live stream, but they will not be included here for not adding anything significant to to them. I will show the after back things in their own videos. Want to control them by the sugar the joke the budget season three it's not too late there i'll be doing two more episodes of season three and possibly beyond if i decide to do so maybe i'll do season four maybe maybe not next year i don't know um uh, submit a response to my ice witches form if you're not writing somebody over time you can see my ice witches spreadsheet This is the last video for episode, no, season two, episode three, uh, explanations. And after that, we the last episode of season three that I record here. But wait a minute, earlier I said that I will make two more episodes. I mean, next episode of season three, next yeah, episode of season three, the last one. I'm recording primarily here. But that but what about the one after that? Well I have an ambitious idea and I'm not gonna tell you what it is now, but a hint that you can already infer is that I'm not gonna be recording here. Maybe a little bit sometimes for extra things. But the actual I, I I bluffed a lie, you know, the, the, watching DGR, making predictions, eating beans for the incorrect predictions, and it, and it, it is two beans for each incorrect prediction, that's what I'm doing in season three, and me, uh, flapping my hands around. Yeah. Part six. Bean of the bean of the bean! Oh, that means I finally get to eat bean boozled in season two. <laughs> As you can see here. Alright, right here, right here, right here. One lucky wager. Pass remaining, which means the first incorrect prediction here. If you use that, and then I have no more, and then next. And correct predictions and uh, subsequent ones being boozled. Lurking intro. The I Believe the Lie Season 2 series. A series where it's Bean of the Bean of the Bean. A lot of fun to look like an idiot. I have one lucky wager pass remaining. So as you can see for that incorrect guess i had two before the guess or prediction whatever were before i found out now and then because that's incorrect i used one of them and now one remaining and there were three of these beans remaining let's review right let's see what, what were they what are they i used a part of lurking sloth in this intro My face cam was big, so I put the text somewhat on the side out of my way. There is only a tiny overlap with the text in my face cam at the top of the last L. I only had one lucky wager pass remaining, so I predicted that I would finally get to my beans in this video, which I would name Bean of the Bean of the Bean. I replaced Bean in the intro with Bean of the Bean of the Bean. I pointed to my remaining lucky wager pass and talked about it, then editor me cut it so that it was brief. It may sound confusing, but if you pay close attention to what I was saying, it makes sense. <laughs> this is a funny one. <laughs> Scoot easy. Twenty fifty four. 
I should have done it earlier, but I just put my wet clothes from the washing machine to the drying machine. I, I think they'll be fine. I scooted my face cam along the screen to show where I am with predictions in the spreadsheet. Editor Me knew it would be funny to take Speak Easily by Shane Ivers, find a part where the melody is not prominent, cut out two notes from the bass line, and put them at the exact times where I click and release the face cam while I was scooting it. I moved my face cam to point to relevant information about the prediction. You can see at 2054. And I predict. Misread that as forty four, but it's thirty four. Microphone disaster avoided. <laughs> it almost fell off the edge, but I caught it and then it. <laughs> Here I go again with my microphone. It almost fell off the edge, but I caught it, as I said in the video. Editor me put a glitch effect when the microphone fell and the top part slid down just as it did at 11 minutes or 9 seconds of part 5. Edit. Moan cortification. <laughs> okay, so fall to the left. Come on, Paul. There we go. Dave moaned loudly in frustration. You know what I did with it. I have made quotifications many times before and even showed how I did it one time. He made another sound shortly after that and it got quotified too. Both times I made one of the smaller duplicates replace the entire YouTube video. And the other covers most of the, most of the bottom spreadsheet. Which is the one with the bingo board. Go quotification. Oh, pink effect. That's on the beam. I might have set the speed to 0.5x or 0.75x. I pitch shifted one clip down by three and another down by seven. Go board. Oh. <laughs> The bingo board. Oh, the fact the, the pausing delay spoiled it. I pause it here, and I would like to go back just a tiny bit, but actually, <laughs> that's funny what I did there. Oh, I just now noticed these face <laughs> mm. <laughs> Wobbly butts. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's what I'm calling this shenanigan. Dave yelled, butts! I chopped the butts up. <laughs> I 
I chopped the butts up and consecutively increased, then decreased the pitches. I also put a wobbly effect on the screen. <laughs> this <laughs> sounds funny. What the the back by him host says is funny is not always what the Minge Drystone uh, Paradigm host says is funny. So, but let's take a look. I gotta call this one wobbly butts, and then in 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 it I say I chopped the butts up. Uh, I thought we were having steamed clams. Oh no, I said steamed hams. That's what I call hamburgers. Not sure what wobbly butts has to do with it, but okay. Yes, it's, it's a regional dialect. Okay. Welcome back to the show. Yeah, okay. <laughs> La pompe de vous. Clear. Pipe. Leads to... Where it looks like. I think this turned out better than Fright Night Ride in the previous video. I panned La Pompe du Trump all the way to the left and Rendezvous all the way to the right. I played both at the same time. I did not change either speed because they have nearly the, the same tempo and I did not pitch shift either because they are both in C at least according to the download. Actually, I'm th actually, I, th I think La Pompe du Trump is D major, and Rendezvous is C. Oh, it didn't really clash too much. Primer post reversal. And previously, I didn't even have the understand, but I'm, I'm keeping it. And it's possible he did say it like that, and I missed it. But it's fine. I took primer post braces and reversed it. That's it. Incorrect guesses. The saddle 71. I used, what is it, 34? Incorrect guesses. Actually, I still don't know about this one yet. I accidentally said correct guesses, but I meant incorrect guesses. Editor me corrected that by inserting the in from about a minute earlier, specifically at 10.02. Alright, from now on, the incorrect guesses. Watch the thwomp. We got it! Something strange happens with the thwomp, so editor me put gray text on the screen telling you to watch it carefully. I also played womp because it rhymes with thwomp, and I had it left over from the thwomp womp chain again from Angel of the Angel of the Angel. What happened with the thwomp? While it was going down, it suddenly moved to the right, so now it's blocked and it can't go back up to where it was. I'm not going to replay it, but you can replay it. So the swamp, swamp was here, but you can see it as it went down, like, moved to the right like that. So I guess it was like over here and then moved down and now it's blocked. You can see the ice there is blocking it, I guess. I
midnight meeting. I noticed the thwomp move slightly towards the right a little bit, but what caused it to do that? And I can see the effect of that, that it can't go down as far. Midnight Meeting is a short fugue written by Kevin MacLeod. I'm going to explain musical counterpoint in a nutshell. Counterpoint has different voices. Typically in different pitches, and each voice plays an independent melody. A fugue is a specific type of counterpoint. Typically, one voice introduces a subject, which is a specific melody. The other voices come in, and they kind of play hot potato with the subject. There may be variations of the subject, maybe moving it along the scale or inverting it. Higher notes become lower notes, and vice versa. A canon is another specific type of counterpoint. Instead of a subject bouncing around the voices, each voice plays the same entire melodic line with some variation. It could be just a few measures later, as in Paco Bell's canon in D, where it could be played both backwards and inverted, or maybe the next voice plays it a few measures later at a different octave or moves along the scale. I took Midnight Meeting, duplicated it so that I had four copies, and made those into a regular canon with an offset of one measure for beats. I said I canonized the fugue in the description, which is basically what I did. <laughs> oh, butts, quartet. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, butts, quartet. So, oh, butts. Back to this part. Dave said, oh, butts, again twice in a row. The second time, he held out, oh, and I quartified it. This time, I made a quartet by using four notes instead of the usual three. Dave held, oh, in C sharp, which is the third note in the A major scale and the second note of the A major triad. Thus, I pitch shifted them to make an A major chord. One of them is down by 4 to A. Ooh. Another is down by 9 to E. Ooh. And another is down by 12 to C sharp in the octave below. Ooh. And my vocal range is limited, so... I may ha So some of these may be an octave different than what's written here. But this is accurate to what I did there. I cropped around Dave and put the copies next to each other, next to the original Dave. So that was the O part. When he said butts, I played a fart sound from farting around, which is that Kevin McLeod piece that is made entirely out of farts, and I still don't understand why the genre is holiday. I guess farts are gross, and being boozled is gross, and the first time I tried being boozled was during Christmas. I like that. Look right paused. Right where our next shenanigan starts. I can't pause it. I can't pause it! And it. Come on, come on, why are you not pausing? And then you jumped. Where was I? 20. Okay, you just gotten through the key box. And we get an ad. You can easily see that I clicked the pause button just before the O oh but thing, but the video kept playing. I did not try to type in the spreadsheet this time while forgetting to focus it, so I do not know why the video jumped backward. This is shenanigan Sunday needs a cherry on top, and the ad does it. Can I be in the ad? Can I be in the ad? Grammarly is 
is your personal writing assistant for clear e Get Grammarly. It fixes your spelling and grammar. And stuff. Emails, confident messages. I didn't know what the ad was going to be. I didn't know what the ad was going to be, but I decided to pretend to be in the ad by moving my face cam into it. It was a Grammarly ad set at a kitchen table. I tried to move my face cam to make it look like I was sitting at the table, but there was no room there. If you look at the fifth Chrome extension icon from the left, you can see that it is Grammarly. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. The me writing the script did not count correctly. Oh, yes I did. I did count correctly from this window. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I did count correctly. But from this window, in this window it's six, and I did not notice that. One, two, three, four, five, six. And down here is also one, two, three, four, five, six. This one is just one, two, three, four, five. So it's is the fifth from the left in the, this window. That's the Grammarly ad. Close enough. I meant to do it like one second sooner, but. Uh... Hey, Mom, what are your thoughts on gluten free donuts? What are you doing? Where is the skip ad button? Oh, wow. Your kids get work done from anywhere. Where's the skip ad button? Where is the skip ad button? I pointed to the skip countdown, but after it got to one, the skip add button didn't appear. Twice, I asked where it is. The second time, I quarterfied it, but only with the audio detached and duplicated instead of duplicating the video. I pitch shifted the audio clips like this. 0, 4, negative 4, 8, negative 8, 12, and negative 12. I added the, the same wobbly effect to the video that I added earlier. Yes, that would be the wobbly butt. <laughs> Dave, where are you? Dave, where are you? Oh, there you are. After the ad, the video was black while it was loading. I pretended that Dave left, so I asked him, where are you? And then he came back. Oh, here you are. New friendly. New Friendly is a piece of music by Kevin MacLeod that starts in A major. After a few measures, it starts modulating, which means it starts temporarily changing keys. It keeps modulating to different keys until it resolves to A major again, an octave higher. The bouncy melody is pretty much the same throughout. When it gets to the higher octave, I made a copy that plays from the beginning at the same time, so there are two octaves playing the melody at the same time. I let the copy play through normally. New day. day! How funky is your heart sensor? This is another funny sound that Dave made that I mimicked. That's it.
seltzer face. Is your heart seltzer? You don't have to answer right now. Just think about it. I waited to get this ad so that I could make this joke. I moved closer to the camera so that I could make this joke better. The man in the ad's mouth was replaced with his entire face, so I tried to do the same thing. I duplicated the screen recording, cropped around my head, and placed it and resized it over my mouth. Three what? Three what? Three minutes? Three hours? Three weeks? Three months? Three years? Three... lifetimes? The ad wouldn't play and I got that spinny thing. It's a... I, the, the ad wouldn't play and I got that spinny thing again. The countdown for the... Skip ad... Another typo, I didn't put the I in skip. The countdown for the skip ad button appeared, but it said three without a time unit. We know it means seconds, but since the ad wasn't plain, was it really three seconds this time? Could it be three minutes? Three hours? Three days? Three weeks? Three months? Three years? Three lifetimes? Three eternities? Three multiversal eternities? Well, it seemed like the ad skipped itself. Come back, Dave! Dave! Where are you? Come back, Dave! Come on! Dave? Dave, where? Ah, oh, there you are! You're on the other side this time! Ah, yeah. Okay. The video was back again while loading. I asked Dave, where are you? Again, but he didn't come back, so I called for him to come back. The video appeared, but Dave was not in his usual corner, which is the bottom left. He had moved his webcam to the bottom right corner. Oh, webcam? Face cam? I don't know. To the bottom right corner so that you can see what is happening in the bottom left. I looked over to the right, and there he is. Laughing effect. Oh, I get it. You removed the coins, it says pro. Editor me knows that. No. Editor me noticed that recorded me missed a bingo space. There was a laughing effect on the screen, which happened earlier in the video in the same place, but I missed it then, too. Editor me noticed that recorded me missed the laughing effect bingo space, so I put pink text on the screen pointing to the space. Liturgy of the Reversal I'll take me back to the start. Okay. Um, let's see, what happens gonna happen here? I don't know, I think... I took Liturgy of the Street by Shane Ivers and reversed it. That's it. Not quite, but actually yes. He, uh, he rode a swamp earlier. Editor me was wrong. If you look at 22, 12, 22 minutes, 12 seconds of the trolled episode, you can see that Luigi rode the thwomp for a brief moment. I now count that, so I bolded the bingo space again. However, I still don't have five on the line. But if I did, I'll give myself a bingo pass for it, and I belong to lie season three. Editor me thought I misremembered Luigi riding the thwomp on the screen, but technically he did for a brief moment. Editor me also indicated that I took care of the laughing effect bingo space off camera. And did was there a point before now as of recording here now 
was there a time before now that I noticed this typo? No W and thwomp. I guess I did not notice while recording this, I did not know while editing it, I did not notice it while writing the script here, otherwise I would have pointed it out, but uh, there is a typo there. Put write a thump, there should be a W in there, it should say write a thump. String replace. Uh, it's probably not going to happen. In object-oriented programming, a method is a piece of code run on an object. Strings are textual data written with double quotes, or maybe single quotes, JavaScript, and also Python, I think. Anyway. Strings typically are objects in object-oriented programming. The replace method of strings takes two string arguments, or two strings as input values. The first string argument is the substring to be replaced, or what to look for in the original string. The second string argument is the substring to replace with, or what to put in the original string. All occurrences of the first argument string are removed from the original string, and the second string argument is put into each of those places. Since strings are immutable, which means its value can't be changed, the method returns a new string representing the replacements. In this example, we work with the string now. The first string argument is w, so the w in now will be replaced with something. The second string argument is t, so the w in now will be replaced with t, and the method returns not. Now, the string now is still now because its immutability means it can't be changed. This is my way of saying that I meant to say not instead of now, and that there is only one letter different between those words. French vanilla, Rocky Road. <laughs> if it's not sucking on Jelly Doll, that suck in his head, it's uh... French vanilla, Rocky Road! French vanilla, Rocky Road. Scoop! Yeah, it is! That's what's constantly running through my head, friends. I think the best way to set up this explanation is to let Dave explain what he was talking about. I do want to see the same ad again. How did you know? Now back to the French vanilla rocky road. I guess I can just view this time as like an open mic too. You just play it Vital proteins for everybody with a body. Eh, just exactly. To express what's on my mind, what's on my heart. And I'm going to I'm gonna use that time to have like a personal heart to heart with everybody watching this video right now. And what I'd really like to discuss is has anyone gotten that YouTube video recommended to them? Or the John Cougar Mellon Camp song, Jack and Diane? But all the words are sucking on chili dogs. I kid you not, that has been stuck in my head for the last week. Any downtime my brain has, sucking on chili dogs is the only thing going through my mind. Sucking on chili dogs, sucking on chili dogs, sucking on chili dogs, sucking on a chili dog. Make it stop, please. Make it stop. <laughs> the sad part is every time I live stream over on twitch.tv slash dj underscore dave I'd love to see you over on a twitch stream even when it's not on my mind People are putting it in the chat sucking on chili dogs And then it instantly goes back into my head and if it's not that 
Then they're putting in the Geico commercial. The, you know, the one. Oh, French vanilla, Rocky Road, chocolate peanut butter cooked dough, scoop. There it is. That's what's constantly running through my head, friends. Literally, the only thing ever going through my mind at a particular moment is either sucking on chili dogs or scoop. There it is. All right, we're back, baby. I see. He got here like 10.30. I was like, oh, you're early. At this point in my explanation, you should understand that... At least back in April 2021, there were two things that got stuck in Dave's head. In the trolled video, Dave said, sucking on chili dogs. In the I Bluff to Life Season 2 video, I said, if it's not that, it's French Vanilla Rocky Road. It took me a few seconds to decide what words I would say. Editor me put in the clip of Dave saying, French Vanilla Rocky Road, during that pause, and put the clip in front of Dave in the trolled video. After I said French Vanilla Rocky Road, uh, I, I don't know what to call it. Anyway, editor me spliced in the part of the clip where Dave said, Scoop, there it is, and said that was constantly running through his head. Pennsylvania. Where am I, dude? Where am I? Pennsylvania. Dave didn't know where he was in the course, so he asked, where am I? He has revealed before that he lives in Pennsylvania, so that was my answer to his where am I. Where? Eighth loud warning. Where am I? This loud warning is for Dave screaming THERE'S THE END at the top of his lungs as soon as the flagpole was revealed. I have the slower. Okay. <laughs> there was a pipe below it. Is this a fake ending? Where well, it looks like you might be able to get the end but not maybe here is i have the power again i played with it the description says what i did with it i set the speed to 0.53x and the pitch to minus six i decided to slow it down to stretch it as close as i could to the end of the recording without going over i also decided to lower the pitch along with the slowing i'm not sure why i put speakeasy in the outro though that is, unless I pretended that it was continuation of the music at the very end of the DGR video. If that's the case, why did I pitch shift it to match the key? Oh, oh boy, you close bowlers do talk a lot. Is that why we have practices in Gabin Hall? <laughs> Pennsylvania. Where am I? That counts. Pennsylvania. I reround and slowed the speed to half to determine if that was a fake ending. I determined it was. This is the part that included Dave asking, where am I? Which, of course, was playing at half speed. I brought back the Pennsylvania joke, but said it slowly. Ninth loud warning. This is another loud warning for Dave screaming, There's the end! at the top of his lungs as soon as the flagpole was revealed. This played again because I had rewound it to determine if that was a fake ending. I determined it was. Snip snip. Ooh, 28 minutes, almost 30 minutes. 
I can snip, snip. You guys, say it with me. Snip, snip. Then get it to under this time. I noticed that I recorded for almost 30 minutes, and I said I could snip, snip it to get the duration shorter. T Match is a YouTube channel that has big challenges. But as of me recording this exclamations video, Team Edge has ended. Same fate as Fail Time and uh, Battle Universe, which bought by the pretty much same guy, same production company. But there's still a lot of Team Edge videos I have not watched yet. The rope cut challenge has the competitors suspended from a harness. Whenever they fail a mini challenge, which are things like themed trivia questions, general trivia questions, emoji puzzles, and more, one of their ropes is cut and they get closer to plummeting into the nasty pool below. Whenever Kevin hosts this challenge and the contestant is about to get one of their ropes cut, he likes to say snip snip and get the audience to say it with him. I laugh because this is the same Kevin that had those flubs, do you remember, in the season three? You know, like, uh, <laughs> it's a food burger, it's a 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 burger, How did he mess up so badly that instead of saying, here are your chicken McNuggets, he said, your foot burns McNuggets. Um, that video wasn't even made yet when I typed this script. I didn't know I would be laughing at Footbrook's subterrogates again. I thought it would as worn out because like the previous couple of times I, I watched it, I didn't laugh at it anymore. But now I'm laughing at Footbrook's subterrogates again. Pure nonsense. <laughs> I saw the flagpole was revealed, but somehow I missed the hand that was on the screen pointing to it. I found the flagpole myself and saw that it was unreachable because Dave had gone down the clear pipe. I was too surprised to speak, so these sounds which resemble my old LOLOL video came out of my mouth. The LOLOL video is pure nonsense, and I didn't mention it. Probably didn't even think about it. In Bean of the Bean of the Bean. How many brain cells? How many brain cells did you lose? Dave? Uh, he is unlikely to watch this video. Of the troll of the made by Nakatan. This level for a troll level that brutally complex, Dave is sure to have lost a few brain cells, right? Maybe not literally. It is very unlikely that he would watch this video or that anybody would tell him that I asked the question, so he won't answer. One more. Sending the level. Recommend sending this to your worst enemy or a friend, but so you could send it to Boom Boom or anybody watching. Have them play this level. <laughs> Let's go ahead and wrap. For a troll level that brutally complex, Dave recommended that you send it to your worst enemy or a friend. Boom Boom is Dave's nemesis, or his worst enemy, so I said that he could send it to Boom Boom. 
Dave's intros start as, hello, my friends, so he calls his audience friends. If it could be sent to a friend, it could be sent to anybody watching. That's it. And, uh, editor me is going to not put the part five and the part six in the same video because that'll take about two hours or something, almost two hours, so it will be split into two separate videos. I'm not about to sneeze. I'm about to say something. Oh yeah, and then after. Yeah. So this is the second of the two videos. And then, and the part where I said that it's the last video before I continue season three will be make sure I do not include it in the part five video, but I will include it in the part six video. And if you are smart, click the like button. If you're a genius, click the subscribe button. And nobody's going to watch this video. It's a niche thing that nobody's going to watch this. Yeah. Do you think it's because your videos are too long? Um, that might be part of it. Um, unless something pops up. My next oh, yeah. video I will be I mean, it was season three, oh, episode I knew it was something three, or maybe it was, yeah, I think part one. And until, uh, yeah, until then, take care, and you will see me next time. No! No!